Moving companies get a lot of complaints and a lot of different kinds of complaints. From jacking up the rates unexpectedly to holding your stuff hostage, the consumers say uh, they have seen it all. Here's three on your side's Gary Harper with yet another viewer's moving complaint. Moving day can be pretty stressful, and some moving companies realize that. A three in your side viewer tells us that his moving day is a good example. The arrival of this moving truck couldn't happen soon enough for Eric Quigley. He just moved to the Phoenix area from Chicago, but he's been waiting for weeks now for his goods to get here. The old moving process is pretty grueling. Grueling because Eric wound up paying nearly double the original moving quote. Double! How does that even happen? Well, when Eric initially hired the moving company, he had to give them a $1,700 down payment just to get them to show up to a Chicago home. Seen here. But as soon as they arrived, the movers whipped out more paperwork for him to sign. Actually, before everything's loaded on the truck, they started pulling out papers telling me, instead of for me reading the stuff, they told me what was on there, and I just signed it, believing what they were telling me was what I was signing. So you signed kind of blindly? I signed blindly, yes. Believing the total moving cost was right around $3,300 and delivery would take around four to seven days, Eric signed the paperwork without reading it through. Kind of took advantage of the fact that I was very tired, very stressed out, and kind of uneducated on everything. Eric says all of his items were then put on the moving truck, but then, days later, the movers called him. But two days later, I got a call saying that I now owe $2,000 immediately that I had to pay online, plus another $2,000 when the moving company came with my stuff. So an additional $4,000. It was an additional four grand that Eric says he had no idea about. Just so you know, Three Inner Side is obscuring these movers' faces because they're separate movers who had nothing to do with the paperwork signed in Chicago. Regardless, Eric says he felt like he was getting taken advantage of, so he called the Arizona Department of Public Safety, which regulates movers here in our state. Driver, I'm going to get your, some information off the door of your truck. DPS officers, along with Three Inner Side, were at Eric's home when the moving truck arrived, and that's when DPS and Three Inner Side started looking at that paperwork that Eric had signed blindly. Apparently, Eric had given his okay for the movers to take up to 30 days for the truck to reach Phoenix, not the four to seven days that he was verbally promised. The paperwork also says Eric agreed to pay the movers the extra money that he says he knew nothing about. He approved it all and had no idea because on moving day, it can be a mess. And some moving companies can use that stress-filled day to turn the tables on consumers. From talking to other people, reading online, um, and experienced myself, that they really don't care about the consumer. Once they have your money, once they have their, your stuff, they have all the power in the world. And they could, you know, demand whatever they want from you. Now, if you plan on moving anytime soon, there are some do's and don'ts you really need to pay attention to. For more help on that, just go to our website, azfamily.com, look for the story, and I'll have a ton of information there for you. I'm Gary Harper, three on your side.